plastic bottles make you nauseous. Using public transportation's awesome. Solar powered everything. No cell phone, just cups and strings. You make your t shirts out of grass. You kick the cars that guzzle gas. Understand. Use cartons, man. Be a Tetra Pak fan. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Fish Watch program, the United States produces only 5% of our own seafood supply. Thanks to an innovative business concept, however, this stat is about to change. Catalina Sea Ranch joining forces with Verizon and utilizing some very impressive technologies has secured the first permit for offshore aquaculture in U.S. federal waters and is poised to become the first commercial shellfish producer right here off the West Coast, farming 100 acres of open ocean for Mediterranean mussels and scallops. Take a look how these technologies and innovations are bringing fish farming back to the United States. So there's a tremendous market here. In the United States, it's documented from, the, from NOAA that over 33 million pounds of live, and I'm underscoring live mussels, are imported into the United States every year. We think that we could grow our own offshore in California. What we'll be doing is cultivating mussels about six miles offshore. It'll produce about two and a half million pounds of mussels about eight months after we seed the ranch. This is definitely a sustainable product because of the filter feeding capabilities of bivalves, that means shellfish, whether it be oysters, mussels, scallops, they filter the water, they don't pollute the water. So that's why we had the environmental community behind it and that's why we were successful in getting the permit. Well, it's very innovative because it's offshore. There's a very robust shellfish aquaculture industry globally but no one's ever farmed or ranched them offshore. The unique thing about what we are doing is in federal waters, i.e. three miles out from the California shoreline. Catalina Sea Ranch secured the first permit because uh, we were the first ones that really tried. It was a lot of luck, it was serendipity, and a lot of hard work. The most important part is getting Verizon involved because we want to do real-time automated monitoring. We don't want to go out once a month and take water samples. We want to have the ability to transmit that data remotely, automatically into the Verizon network, from the Verizon network into the cloud, and then the scientists could collaborate and evaluate and make sure that there's no negative impact. Also, we had a really, really focused on uh, hatchery science so that we could spawn the shellfish and the hatchery science so that we have seed, because without seed, you don't have a crop. Algae is the food source for all shellfish and bivalves. We're able to do this with the industrial plankton bioreactor. The really interesting thing about this is using the Verizon cloud, we can actually access our computer via just a phone anywhere in the world. Over the next few months, Catalina Sea Ranch will be adding the smart Verizon buoy, placing additional equipment and waiting for the Mediterranean mussel to grow to the optimum size for harvest. We don't want all 2.5 million pounds coming into the market at once. So we want to seed one line in, uh, let's say, in November, two lines in December, three lines in uh, February, and then harvest them and then uh, sell them uh, eight months later. We're in Southern California. Uh, this is going to be very fresh, live uh, shellfish for the uh, California consumer and for the Midwest. Uh, we have our distributors uh, all across the United States. They're actually in strategic investors in the company. So it's going to be good for America and particularly good for uh, the locavores in California. Thanks for checking out this week's innovation video sponsored by Tetra Pak. Subscribe to the Lemper Report to watch more videos just like this. Also, visit supermarketguru.com. Visit becartonsmart.com and you'll see how others are using cartons as a small step to big good.